All right, welcome back to Market Day Report. I'm Scott Shelley, otherwise known as the Cow Guy. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Let's take a look and see what these markets are. It's been a tough one for producers. Let's bring up that corn board behind my head and see what we've got going on. And last time we were there, it was about where we are right now, so not a lot's changed. September's down eight and three quarter cents. It was down about nine cents the last time we checked. 467 is last there, right? Uh, look at that. It's about two and a quarter, well, let's say one and a quarter cents off the lows. So we're one and a, cent, one and a quarter cent off the lows and seven cents off the highs. That'll give you an idea about what's been happening over there. That D-sport, that's still below that 480 level, down nine and a quarter cents. 478 and a half is last, a penny and a half off the lows. And then uh, well, we're about seven cents off the highs, seven and a quarter cents off the highs. So that's corn for you, struggling just a tad. Uh, moving right along, uh, look at this, soybeans, uh, crop ratings last night, a little bit better than expected. Sep's taking it on the chin. 29 and a quarter cents lower there, 13, 23 and a quarter is last, 23 and three quarters last. That's a penny off the lows, all right? And then look at that, the, the highs are 25 cents away. That'll give you an idea about what's been happening in beans. Nov, that's down 18 cents to 13.08 even, a penny and a half off the lows, and again, 26 cents off of the highs. That's beans for you. Moving right along to the wheat, Chicago wheat. Well, that SEP contract's down 16 and a quarter cents to 5.99 and three quarters. We've lost that $6 handle. We'll see if we can get that back. Uh, we're four cents off the lows. I guess that's good news, but still about 20 cents off the highs. Dece, that's down 15 and a half cents. 6.26 even is last there. Uh, we've got, what, a four a f or off uh, four and a quarter cents from the lows. And again, well off the highs by about 18, 18 and a half cents. So that is going to give you an idea about what we stand in wheat in Chicago. Let's go from Chicago to Kansas City. That's down 11 cents in that subcontract, 739 and a half is last. Four cents off the lows and about 25 cents off the highs. Well, 15 cents off the highs. There you go. So uh, 15 cents off the highs, five cents from the lows. That pretty much explains hard red wheat. Dece, look at that. We've got uh, 12 and a half cent low there, 12 and a half cents lower on the day there. 746 and three quarter, quarters is last, and that's about four cents off the lows there. Similar highs. All right, spring wheat. Let's take a look at what's going on in Minneapolis. That's spring wheat and 12 cents lower in the front month. That's up 793 and a half is last. Penny and a half off the lows and about 12 cents off the highs. D sets down 12 and a half cents to 807 and a half. And that too is about two cents off the lows, 13 cents off the highs. Okay, and that's uh, going to lead us out of the cotton. That's the last one right here. 127 points lower in D cotton. 85 20s last, 19 points from the lows. That's cotton for you. Let's get to our next guest analyst. That's going to be Tommy Grisafi. He's with Advanced Trading. Thanks, uh, Tommy, for joining the show. I think you're in, yeah, Lexington, uh, Lexington Kentucky. There you go. All right. Well, a um, little easier here across the board. Tough day if you're a producer. It is, and we talked about this. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm in the uh, dorms here at University of Kentucky, and uh, you know, these are the, we're a few weeks away, Scott, from having the most amount of uh, corn we're going to have for the whole year. And once that happens, you know, this is very typical to see the markets widen out, to see the markets relax, to actually see the hedge funds being selling, you know, selling this crop. And the producer is always shocked when the market goes down hard. But this is such a challenging time that interest rates a, a year ago, interest rates were 3% and corn was 7 or 8 dollars. Now corn in parts of America today hit $3 and interest rates have a 9, 10 or 11 in front of them. And it's very challenging. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's really 100% uh, turned on its on its face. And um, there's been a few things that have caused problems. But we've had some folks on talking about where they think we'll end up. And we've slid through that 480 level. That was something a lot of guys were looking at, or a lot of gals too, uh, 480 and D's corn. Um, and that 450 to 480 range has been a lot of, you know, a lot of pundits have been talking. But what's going to take? What's it going to take to get this market to rally? Well, you know, there's still people. This is embarrassing to say, but there's still people who are holding old crop that had some some thoughts in their mind that this had to go higher, and uh, we are no longer running out of grain. So as you know, with high frequency trading and the way markets move, yep. they always go so f they always go further. It's funny you mentioned that. Last night at 10 o'clock at night, I bumped into a fellow Board of Trade trader who used to trade in the 10-year notes uh, with me. His name was Tom also, is Tom. 
And he said every market he trades, it goes way further than he thinks. So say we pull something, we say, you know, 450 is a great level. The market should stop there. You might as well add 20 more cents and say 430. But I'll tell you this, if we get down to those levels, we're going to see demand come in like you've never seen. Because when you're a foreign country and you can buy corn a dollar cheaper than it costs you to produce it, then we're at a value area. So we're going to go from a, a scare tactic with the Ukraine war to, wow, United States corn's on sale and demand will pick up tremendously. All right. All right. Stay right there. Don't go away. I know you're not, but uh, we're going to go away. We're going to pay some bills. We're going to come back and talk more with Tommy Grisafi. He's with Advanced Trading down at the University of Kentucky in Lexington. We're going to come back right after this. All right. Welcome back. Let's see if we can get some better news coming out of the livestock sector, right? That's the other side of the ledger. Let's start with live cattle. Let's bring up the live cattle board in Chicago and see what we've got going on there. We're a little easier here. We've actually bled a little lower. Uh, October's down 92 cents to 179.75. And that's only about 12 cents off the lows there. Deese is down a buck five to 183.92. Uh, and that too is about 12 cents off the lows there. So that getting close to trading off the lows of the day there when we talk about live cattle. Feeder cattle were higher the last time we were there. Now they've turned a little bit lower. Uh, September is down 37 cents, but we're not doing very much. 249.75 is last there, about a buck off the lows. Uh, and then if you look at the October, that's off 45 cents. It's 251.40. That's last there. And then finally, Lean hogs, what do we have happening there? They also have turned lower here, so we don't really have a lot of respite, as they say. October is down 30 cents, 78.85, a dime off the lows. Deese is down 70 cents, 71.95 there, and about 7 cents off the lows there. All right, kind of a negative pal that's been cast over the, uh, the uh, livestock. Let's see uh, what our guest analyst has to say about that. Tommy Grisafi, he's with us, coming from uh, University of Kentucky in Lexington. Thanks for being on. All right. Tommy, anything there that uh, you can give us or shine a little positive light on? Well, when I was at the Marriott Hotel here today, the uh, we had an economic number come out at 7.30, and I noticed that that two-year note shot up, and interest rates went up, up again today. And when you look at the board overall, the board, my quote board, with 30 different commodities on it, a lot of red on the quote board. So the meat guys need to take a lesson from the grain guys. Yeah, $5 is support. Next thing you know, we're trading 475 Markets can go lower than you think. It's never costs so much to produce a pound of beef you have to protect that you didn't buy a fifty thousand dollar pickup and need insurance that's an eighty five thousand dollar pickup make sure you're insuring the value of the commodities that you're growing or raising to its proper level that's the best advice i can get from someone who's about ready to write a big tuition check i guess education is expensive back to you my friend <laughs> well education uh, at the school is expensive and also education and the markets can be expensive as well. Thank you very much for that, Tommy. Tommy Grisafi coming to us from Lexington, Kentucky. That's uh, easy with advanced trading there.